If you'd like to see more of our videos, hit the subscribe button to stay on top of the market news. Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Razak at CM Trading. Today is June 12, 2020. And today is Friday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, the Dow Jones continues to tumble. But the question is, will it bounce at these levels? But first, let's take a look at the economic events of the day. So we have only one major economic event coming out later today out of the United States at 4 p.m. South African time. It's consumer sentiment number, University of Michigan's number that comes out. Now, this is a consumer confidence number. This is a very important number, and especially if consumers have somewhat confidence that the markets will rebound next year, then we could see actually the markets bouncing. OK, but first looking at the Forex symbols, we're watching the dollar getting stronger across the board as the Dow Jones continues to tumble. Now, the Dow Jones tumbled and the Nasdaq follows the Dow. OK, this is really very important because it broke that 10,000, which it initially had broken it on the upside, but now making that correction on the downside. Now, looking at the commodities, gold bounces, but doesn't look like it's breaking above 1740, which lends to say that perhaps the Dow Jones will actually bounce back, not back to 27,500 ish level, but bounce. Now, oil sells off below to $36 a barrel, below that 38 support level. And lastly, looking at the stocks, they're following the indices. They're following the futures and they sell off across the board, everything, even the high tech stocks. But some of them are actually still higher from their breakouts from earlier this week. But let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So we're starting here with a weekly chart of the Euro USD, as you can see, this was a really great play earlier this week. We're just trading below this 1300-ish level, 113-ish level, below that 113.60. So not much of a retracement, but a retracement nonetheless. Now, when we look at the GBP, it's a little bit more aggressive on the downside. A nice little retraction from 127 down to 125. Now, this is systemic. It's across the board. So when we're looking at the USD Rand, same story. Okay, went from 16. 50-ish level up to 1711 just yesterday with this massive little bounce as this had the correction yesterday. So this is really everything across the board. And lastly, looking at the Canadian dollar as well, getting weaker versus the USD and breaking that resistance-ish level at 135, 40-ish level. When we look at gold, we see it actually trading at par, 1726 between that 726 and 1700 in between those upper limits of 1741 and the lower limit of 1673. So we're still rain bound trading. Okay. Hasn't gotten that strong that it's breaking above that 1750 for now. Okay. This is really important to highlight that we may see that at the end of the year as we go after the elections. But for right now, we're still trading within this range. Now looking at oil, we retraced down to $34 a barrel now bouncing to 3562. Now this has seen some decent retracement and right there which was, which was a previous resistance subsequent support we're right trading it right there at 3558ish level. So this is really a decent place for this to bounce. Now looking at the Dow Jones, look at that nose dive, okay? Bouncing to that lower limit of 25100, we're bouncing right now, we're at 25500ish level. But within these couple of days, we've retraced over 2,000 points, okay, just to give us a perspective, that's decent move right there, okay, that's that's at least on a one lot, that's a $10,000 $10, move in just three days, unbelievable retracement, this was expected that there will be a correctional move, now I don't think it's going to give it up so quickly, I don't think we're going back to the low 20,000 time soon, I think we're going to bounce off of here and trade somewhere between the 26 500 ish level, okay, somewhere there to the 25 500 ish level where we are right now. Now, looking at the NASDAQ, also you saw it nosedive as people are taking money off the table, okay, even though we broke above that 10,000 level, we didn't sustain it, okay. So, if we look at a weekly, we'll see it just as a wick and not as a candle, which seems to imply that it's one of those extremity moves. That has a correctional move on the downside. Now, looking at the other stocks, we're looking at Apple still above its 325 breakout move. Okay. And I would use that as a support level in anticipation that it's going to bounce again. Now, that means that Apple is stronger than the markets. Okay. Apple is showing some strength vis a vis 
the da the Dow and certainly the Nasdaq as well. Okay, so this may push us higher. Okay, believe it or not, they this may push us in the markets a little bit higher because Apple is going higher. Now, looking at Amazon, also sold off conservatively, but again above its all-time highs. So I got two fan stocks that are still above its all-time highs. Looking at Microsoft, it's below our 189-ish level. So this is relative weakness compared to Apple and Amazon. Now looking at Facebook, weaker. And looking at JP Morgan, which was our one that every time we said that if the market sells off, this is the one that you want to be short. JP Morgan selling at 97.33, below that 103-ish level. So within the week, we've already retraced $17. Okay, that's a significant move for something that's worth about $100. Okay, that's almost a 20% move within a week. So something to look at. I do see a certain amount of weakness in the economy in the States, obviously. And that's going to be representative of some of the classical, the old school kind of economy. The banks, the transportation companies, the obviously the uh, hotel and accommodation businesses. Okay, until we get past this pandemic, okay, this will resurface itself to be selling off once again. This is Fred Razak. I want to wish you guys a great trading day and a beautiful weekend. Thank you.